the Leica M Digital. Beautiful, classic, and timeless. The Leica Digitals have kept the classic styling of their film forebears. So whilst there may be the occasional well-heeled hipster buying one just for looks, they're more for photography purists, enthusiasts, and classicists. That is, until now. Meet the Leica X2. Not any X2, this is the Paul Smith edition, now emblazoned with neon colors, hand-drawn cartoon detail, and a funky range of accessories. The build and styling of it, if you strip away all of the crazy colors, is pretty classic. But no doubt this bold, colorful interpretation by Paul Smith is going to divide audiences. So it's still proudly German. The build and image quality is still there, but is it a liker at heart? Or some kind of freak that should be wrapped up in a straitjacket and thrown in a cell? Of course, if the specs of the camera appeal to you, but the styling doesn't, there's a range of other options available to you, here shown in the silver and black versions. And they can be customized into loads of different color combinations. Classic blue to match the interior of your Jag. Classic tanned and grain leather to infuriate your environmental friends and show that you care more about style than animal rights or beige to impress your accountant friends, although I'm sure they'd be outraged that you spent that many thousand dollars on a camera. Or bright green to reinforce your friend's envy. In fact, there's more color options on the Leica a la carte menu than there is on a Chinese all-you-can-eat buffet. Supporting the 16 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor is a familiar menu layout system from the other M cameras. Uh, it's pretty speedy though, not as slow as I found some the M9 to be running through the menus. It's got later up-to-date firmware. Basic USB 2 connectivity and it's still using an SD card underneath the base plate. Okay, so the X2 is really an interesting proposition. It's a big change from, you know, what I personally expect from Leica. It's just been announced and it's going to start shipping around November this year. To get one though, you can't just walk into a store, you need to go onto the Leica website, choose the camera, choose the colour of trim leather you want on the actual camera itself, choose if you want any engraving on the top deck and on the flash, be it your name, signature, a message to a loved one, your logo even, you could get a nice little get your gear out on the flash if you wanted to, and then if you want you can get the optional leather uh, housing case and strap and again you can choose the colors of them so if you want to go all you know crazy and make it look like a rainbow throw up on your camera you could get something like this red green and blue one now what is it blue green and yellow one um, but yeah it feels so lightweight and the dials have a much different feel to them which initially feels like it's a bit of a toy camera until you realize it's actually made from titanium and aluminium which is why there's a different kind of feeling when the buttons are grating against each other that's the titanium and that also explains the really light weight it's still made in germany it's got a, a prime fixed lens on there but as i showed it does extend in and out as you know you turn it on it's not a fixed in the body one and maybe it's just that i'm not used to titanium cameras but you know the finish on it is so smooth maybe I'm not refined enough to appreciate it, but it almost feels plasticky. It's so, so light and so smooth to the touch. The only visible Leica logo on the rear is on the uh, flash hot shoe cover, which actually comes off when you remove it. And that's where you would put the optional viewfinder if you want it. So there it is. If you want a ultra, ultra premium, compact, full manual control, kind of point and shoot fixed lens camera that's in the same sort of uh, class in terms of specs as something like the Fuji X100 but you want to be able to absolutely customize it have the the best finish of titanium and leather and that kind of thing and be able to make it whatever disgustingly sick color combination that you want then there isn't really much other option almost dropped it there oops oops that's okay um, there isn't much other option than the X2 so yeah let me know what you think. Would you order one? Would it have to be from my bank account? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Leave me any questions or comments, and I'll see you soon. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Lots more photo news and reviews coming soon.